everyone. I'm going to do a full tour of our little lodge in another video to come. But today is Tuesday the 4th of November. And we're just doing a little bit of a chill day today. So we've woken up a little bit early. Actually, we woke up to the sound of like what sounded like tapping. And then we were just like, what the hell's that? And then I opened the curtain and there was nothing there. It was coming from outside, 100%. Um, and then uh, Alan woke up, he said, oh, do you want an omelette? I, was, I don't really fancy an omelette, I just have crumpets that we bought the other day. And as we come into the like living area, we had ducks on the patio and one of them tapped the glass here with its beak and it was the exact same sound as what woke us up this morning. So they must have been up here this morning as well. So um, yeah, we just had like a little um, <laughs> duck feeding. Duck feeding moment. We didn't have any bread, but we had a wrap. So we just put it in lots more pieces. The lodge in front of us, I don't know if you can see the roof of it. There. Is a double decker lodge. And I've never seen one before. So when we was walking in, I was a bit like, oh my god, there's a double decker lodge. But each of them, this area, have a hot tub, which we've noticed. But um there's some right at the front, which may not have hot tubs, but it's right near a lake. And there are also five fishing lakes here, which you can fish on. And the main reception has a spa facility and its own swimming pool. Me and Alan have come out to Narsba and we are on the cliff's edge at the Castle Gardens. And we're looking at this rider. I'm just getting some pictures and you can also hire a robot. A robot? A robot down there. Which we're going to try and do before it rains. Because it's a yellow weather warning today, hence our matching the I know, we become colour coordinated always. Mm. And it's here, I know. Please. Okay. It's weather warnings, it's doing that. Can you take this umbrella from my. Uh, <laughs> Show the camera. Can you get it hard on? <laughs> Don't know other people. We're in boat tracing in the water tonight. They've got their own little boat. So just to let you know, if you come before the viaduct, you can hire the blue boats, and these are eight pounds per person. But a little bit down there are the red boats like behind Alan's head. I'm not sure how much they are, but you can also hire those. But we've obviously come here in non-peak season, and there wasn't a queue. We're practically the only boat on the river. Under the bridge. <laughs> Alan, I'm gonna get wet. Turn me away. Turn me away. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that house. It's a checkered. It's a checkered house. This is really romantic. <laughs> What's the film? Disney film where there's a rowboat in there. No, oh, like there's... How do I? So Nasper is a really nice little town. Um, we parked right in the middle. It was um, one pound sixty for four hours. We got here quite late because we wasn't quite sure this morning on the weather, so we left it a little bit later because it is a yellow weather warning. Hence the rain max, which I said earlier. Umbrella. Um, I'm glad we're doing this now whilst it's not raining. But these are people's gardens here. That's quite cute. Can you hold these up with water for a second? 
Oh, you're going to make working up a sweat? Stop. Okay, I'm having a go. This one needs longer than that one. Let's twist that one, that's it. Oh, we're going to go into the wall. I like that garden over there. It's supposed to be feeding there, yeah. How are you on this? I don't know how you meant to work. It's quite tight, isn't it? I think they're the oars. I think they're supposed to be a bit further in. circles. Amy's head sits in a viaduct. <laughs> if you stay really still, I'll get us over to it. No, don't. Just stay here because you're making me wobble. Oh, <gasps> fine. Oh. oh, it's still there. Oh, it's got fish in its mouth. Swallowed it. Oh, she got two boyfriends. Oh, have a little drink there, sir. We're literally in the middle of Rivenhead. Rivenhead, found us. Just us. You're going in. Fuck that. How fast were you going? We were going at some real speed. That's slowing us down. I'm turning. Oh. If we be quiet, we might see that kingfisher again. Meanwhile, I've actually got a back press. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> la, 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 la. I recommend doing this. This is fun. In summer. Huh? I don't know if it would be better in the summer. I mean, it's not cold, even though I look wrapped up for winter, but it's about 18 degrees. Oh. We see a kingfisher. Don't know if you're going to see them in the winter when it's hurting the summer when it's busy. We're heading back now, back towards the Vardot. Done a half an hour row. We've just finished our little rowboat ride Good. and now we're heading to Mother Shipton's cave. Mother Shipton apparently is this person who predicted a lot of things that were to happen in the future and one of them was the Great Fire of London. Obviously back in those days if you say anything like that they think you're a witch so we're going to find out a little bit more about that. Then we're going to grab something to eat. I'm really hungry and the jacket got soaked on the boat. Yes. Look at his hands. Got it in check. <laughs> you can do the bandit. <laughs> no, get out. That's too tall for me. John, <laughs> had a leaf on his neck that landed right he had a leaf here and he went and what's that on my neck it's and like then reread what you just read be prepared this this park is haunted i make sure that anyone who walks through it knows my presence what the hell oh got a big book here the trail that you now follow was once part of the grand estate of the king charles the first in 1630 Now we use soft toys and our famous teddy bears, which are shipped all over the world. Right. 
Let's go. And next up, lot A, do we see 10 and on the start? No. Do we see 10, do we say 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 20, 30, 30, and last order 30, going once, going twice, and sold! So gents on the top hat. <laughs> Where do we put it? Here? This is five cents. Oh, this is, this is, this is, this is <laughs> sterling. This is probably worth more than sterling. Oh my god! Sold! So we're walking back out of the mothership tombs. Um, <laughs> I can't think of it. Yeah, mothership tombs attraction, that's the word I was looking for. Um, yeah, I would recommend doing it, but a bit pricey. A bit pricey, so we, yeah, we paid £20 with a pound guide. But the guide was quite worth it, actually, even though there are little signs around that do say the exact same thing that's in the book. Although, sneak peek, they look to be setting up Halloween stuff. Halloween really cool. and Christmas. Some sneak peeks in the video. So I reckon Christmas would be really nice. Um, really nice, we're just walking back oh, along. Like Maybe it's Wonderland. So it's uh, there is a Yorkshire Winter Wonderland. Oh, I've read up on it. Yesterday. Well, not even here would be a good place. I know it's which, but they could spin it. I wonder who it's owned by. It doesn't say who it's owned by now. Who this? Yeah. yeah, it did right at the beginning of the book. Did it? Yeah. No, it was owned. 